I need a map. I need a bigger map. So I said last week that the style would be changing. It wouldn't be the Monday to Friday thing. Uh, it will be this week, but not next week. And that's because a bunch of travel is coming up. So I thought I'd kind of roughly quickly explain where I'm gonna go next week. I leave on Sunday and uh, I need a map for that. All right, I'm, I'm now standing up on the counter and we'll see if this works a little bit better. So that's, that's, where, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so um, on Sunday, I leave from London and I fly via somewhere uh, to Shanghai. So I'm gonna spend a couple days in Shanghai doing some stuff with the book, and then we're gonna fly from there to uh, Changsha, it's over here, and then get a train uh, to Wuhan. And then from Wuhan, I'm gonna fly to Tokyo. And then from Tokyo, and this is tricky, Tokyo, fly down to Auckland, and then from Auckland, we go uh, to Singapore, and then to Kuala Lumpur, and then eventually back home again. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do style-wise. I don't think I'm gonna daily vlog, but it might be a per city vlog or maybe a per country, we'll see. It just means that there's quite a lot of organizing and prep to do, because that's a 17, 18 day trip with quite a lot of flights. I think 13 different talks in that time. Uh, and lectures and workshops and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be pretty hectic, which is good and a little bit terrifying. So planning, very important, planning. It's a strange day, but not a bad day. Um, the morning, as usual, working on coffee jobs, board things, on that kind of stuff, there is a lot of change coming to that project, which is good, I think. And then a good catch up with a company I do a little bit of work with called Affina, who do the secondary fermentation of green coffee. And every time I talk to them, it feels a little bit more exciting in terms of what possibilities there are out there. Um, so they're doing some cool stuff and I hope to talk more about that in the future. They're super good. Now I know I'm standing at my desk, which means it's probably going to open something, but I'm not going to open something, but I'm going to talk about something that came in the mail today. So this is a book by a guy called Jamie Good. I like his writing about wine. He wrote a book uh, that was pretty great called uh, Authentic Wine, which was talking about natural wine as we know it now. And I really liked his approach and, and looking for a better word than natural and because natural's problematic in many ways. So I, I liked that. He also wrote a book called The Science of Wine that I think is really super good if you want to get into that and understand that some more. So this book is about the science of tasting wine. And if I can't learn something valuable from this, then there is no hope for me left in the world. So super excited to dig into that. That will be coming on some airplane rides with me this uh, coming week. The other thing that went up today was the video I did about how to program Black Eagle Gravimetric Machines and calibrate them and do that kind of fun stuff. I am enjoying doing instructional videos. If you have requests for them, leave them in the comments below. I can't promise I'm gonna make a video about everything. There's about a dozen lined up that I do wanna make, but I'm always interested in, in what people want to hear more about, be it techniques or anything else. So let me know. The only upside of presentations is I get to take photos for them, which is kind of good. So, shooting a bunch of stuff, some espresso stuff for the gravimetric. There's a little cupping now, which we're gonna do like a UK roasters cupping. Downstairs, there's been a public cupping on today, but I didn't wanna film that. Looking forward to seeing how we stack up against everyone else.
So always good to taste other roasters' coffee. I'll be honest, there was some stuff there that I sort of wish we had roasted. There was some stuff there that I'm very glad we didn't. So now all of us, not just me and Flick, uh, <laughs> are gonna go to uh, one of our customers, a place called Curio Cabal. Um, we're gonna drink some espresso martinis, eat some dinner, and um, I think that's it really, is that about it? That's it, we're gonna try some it. delicious cocktails and hang out. And this goes back to my days as a, as, a, as a journalist, you know. I used to write about the economic drain of manufacturing jobs from the state of South Carolina. Rushing around again, I now need to go and take back a van. I've just done a podcast with Ben Zabodi, uh, my collaborator and editor at Longberry, and now I need to drive this thing back to the dealership because we just had it for a day to see if we liked it. And I feel like I'm rushing and then I'm gonna go and meet uh, Chris and Nick from Chef Steps. Uh, for dinner, which is good. There is the most insane sky tonight. This is a, what it's like a knife on a rope. Yeah. kindly been sent the uh, the puck press which is now I think for a little while just gonna live down here uh, it's very small I was kind of impressed at how small it was and it blows my mind that, that this hasn't been a thing sooner I remember seeing something like this it might have been the predecessor to this in Korea like two three years ago making coffee there's lots of physical steps and tamping is one that I think is problematic because one people worry about it unnecessarily two uh, it's a physical action that you can do badly and hurt yourself. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have the jewelry. Who doesn't love a nice tamper? They're things you collect and you end up with lots of the damn things. But uh, I'm, I'm really okay with outsourcing this part of the process to just standardize it, make it quicker, easier. Yeah, it's gonna sit in the rotation in the training room for a while and uh, come back to it in a few weeks and see how we're doing. Last night I saw Chris and Nick from Chef Steps. We cut up for some dinner, that was great. They brought with them a little gift for me, which is not really a gift because I bought it, but um, I think this is the first one in the UK. Got myself a little jewel, which is very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Now, this is important. Uh, this is a 110 volt jewel. They are not available uh, for European power configurations yet. I'm gonna have to run this through a sort of serious transformer because it'll pull about 1300 watts. There will be European ones coming next year, but right now, only US available. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Annoyingly, my transformer won't arrive until uh, tomorrow, well, Monday, and I'll be gone, so I don't get to cook with this for a while. It's, it's so small, it's so little. I did work with Chef Steps for like a full month, so call me biased. This is a good day for me, I'm pretty happy about this.